I've been asked what different would different would it be would it make if I were uh, the mayor of the city? What difference is it from the present administration that would provide fiscal responsibility that I say is lacking now? And what do I mean by that? To differentiate from now to the Rican administration, there are a couple things we need to look at. There are figures from the mayor's controller's uh, monthly books, and I'd like for you to look a little bit at the chart next to me, that's the first exhibit. It shows a dramatic drop in monies to start the year from 2013 to 2014, and then it shows uh, even more of a decline to 2015. In 2013, we started with about $4 million in the bank. In 2014, it was a little over 700000 and now we're down to a little over 300000 why is that important? It's important to understand where the money has gone. And that is one of the questions we are asking, is where has the money gone? This is the money that starts you off at the beginning of the year. And you can call South Bend and ask them how, what monies they started off in 2015, and it is in the millions. What you want to make sure is you're solvent to start the year. Simply explaining away that it is due to the tax caps or the reception, recession is not a reason to spend more than we are taking in. And that is all that I keep hearing from the administration. The second exhibit is on the back of the press release. It has the 2014 revenue that was expected, the actual revenue, the expenses projected, the actual expenses, the differences, and the encumbrances, which would be held to pay in 2015. That amounts to about a little over $5 million. We didn't take in as much as we were supposed to. We didn't control our spending. So we ended up spending more than we took in. That's just not acceptable. That happened last year. They, held five million dollars for this year plus the fact at the end of last year the city advanced from the water department two and a half million dollars so that it wouldn't look like it was in the red and that's what you have on the back the two and a half million dollars is almost almost all of a payment in lieu of taxes that the water department pays to the city every year but when you advance it and take it from one budget, 2015, to the existing budget to pay your expenses now, what happens to 2015? Are you going to borrow from 2016 for the $2.5 million or $3 million that you, you have taken for the 2014 budget? That's just an endless process of not controlling your spending. First, let me say, I am not interested in this being a finger-pointing campaign. I am interested in the truth. I'm interested in a clear picture of where we are right now financially and where we are going financially. I'm interested in our fiscal health. Transparency is critical for all of us to understand our financial position. So what will I do differently? Number one, my picture of the revenue and expenses would be more honest, more realistic, and more conservative. I will assess the status with professionals in finance and accounting. Number two, I will plan for the absolute priorities of public safety. which is a well-equipped and trained fire department and police force, the repair of our streets and roads and our sidewalks. And I have said that the Recon administration will concentrate on the needs of all the people of Evansville and not the wants of special interest groups. Number three, I will stress contra contracting, contracting excuse me, with local businesses for services using a transparent and competitive bid process so the public knows who is making the decisions. And this generates money locally, jobs, 
and local money that we're going to be spending here. And lastly, number four, I will work to help businesses expand and promote new businesses coming into Evansville. This will be a priority. That might take incentives, but I won't be doling out monies to any rainmaker that wants to try his luck in Evansville. It needs to be stressed that government alone should not be the venture capitalist in projects. Thank you so much. I hope that you understand there is a definite difference between this administration and how I will work, and I would appreciate any comments or questions that you have.